everybody. This is L. St. John coming to you one more time from another sweet spot of sunny Southern California. And shooting this video is my son, Ben. Hello. And today we want to talk to you about an email that we got not too long ago. And I told Mary, uh, the person who wrote this uh, uh, quite extensive uh, email to us, um, that I would be answering her uh, via video. And so we have her permission. Thank you very much, Mary. And this is what she wrote to us. Okay, her boyfriend came back and then um, something happened, everything was fine. All of a sudden, um, you know, he decided, or the two of them decided that things were not working out, so they split apart for whatever the reason was. So here comes the hurt, here comes the loneliness, the sadness, and that intense feeling of why. And once you're in that stage, of course, you go back to that desperate uh, state as well of meeting that person or wanting that person right next to you. So um, Mary writes to us telling us that it was around February when she got a hold of herself, okay? She was no longer with her boyfriend. She got a hold of her emotions and she started writing a letter to the universe every single day. And she wrote that she would have him back by November 2016. In that letter, he would all she would always uh, write to, to the universe, he'll be back. You know, um, he loves me. It was uh, nothing but positive stuff that she would um, write in her letters every single day. Well, um, he came back in October of 2016 instead of November, which was really good. Okay, so what she did here was that um, she sparked up her energy, her power, okay, her belief changed. Uh, instead of her being desperate, why, asking herself constantly, why is he not here? Why did I lose him again? She decided to get a hold of herself and start thinking positive and she took action her action was in starting to write every day every day every day and what that would do was uh, give her energy give her power to believe what it is that she really wanted in this case who she really wanted back into her life okay so those are the key elements right there okay you want to fill yourself with positive energy if you're out there crying um, uh, just asking yourself why is this happening why is he not here that's only making you um, more depressed more hurtful of whatever words were said or actions were done to split apart to make you guys split apart so what you want to do is do what Mary did. Get a hold of yourself right away, as soon as you possibly can. Sometimes you do have to cry it out, and it's totally understandable because we're all humans, okay? But once you're done doing that, okay, take force, take action. How do you take action? By controlling yourself. That is the key. Control your emotions and guide them to the right place where you want them to be where you are controlling your emotions, so you are controlling yourself, okay? You're not crying, you're not depressed, you are in full and total control, which is where you wanna be at all times, even if you have that loved one right next to you, okay? And her second question is, this happened again. Let me answer to you, Mary, why it happened again, okay? Why is it so possible? Let's say your loved one is back, Okay, you guys are having a great time together and all of a sudden you get yourself into an argument and then you decide that uh, 
you don't love him anymore or he doesn't love you anymore or vice versa you're just too mad too hurt to be together okay that came as a result of fear okay he had left once came back but then you're always in fear you're always like oh you know it's gonna happen again and you're fearing it and you're you're what you're doing is you're injecting um, thoughts and um, emotions of, of fear that eventually come to pass and you start living exactly what you feared the Bible does say what I feared most came to pass okay so when we do that we're giving force to fear so we eventually live that fear again okay so let's say you come back with your loved one or he comes back to you or you guys uh, decide to be together again good and great but you have to work on resentments no more that should not exist because that's only giving force to the breakage again, to breaking up again, okay, for that relationship to work in fear at all times. So you want to be very careful with that, okay, nip it in the butt, forget about those uh, negative thoughts, forget about the past, the past is in the past, okay, the present is you are now with the loved one of your life the one you so much wanted the one that you you worked on emotionally and physically to attract back okay live that life the happy life you're you're back with that loved one okay forget of what happened in the past the resentments the bad words the you know the actions that were taken that led you to that breakup forget it okay because you're only gonna live it again if you keep giving it force so what you want to give force is to what you really want in your life or who you really want back into your life okay and once that person comes back to you okay concentrate on giving force to the relationship being stronger and stronger by the minute okay so I'm gonna leave you with that okay you've got work to do we all have work to do so let's get to work let's take action action in our emotions knowing how to control our emotions that's what gives the force that we so much need for that magnetic action to come into place Okay, that's what brings back who you want or what you want. Your actions, your feelings, your emotions. You have to you have to control them. So from a sweet spot here in sunny Southern California, we wish you the best. Namaste.